energy is a measure of a system's capacity to do work, such as a reaction producing a product. Hi, Mr. B here. In this video, I will explain how to use the Gibbs free energy equation to determine the spontaneity of a reaction. The variables in the Gibbs free energy equation are as follows. Free energy is equal to the delta H or enthalpy change of a reaction minus the entropy change times temperature. A simple way to explain what entropy really is, is by comparing the various states of a substance on a heating curve. The entropy or disorder in a system increases from solid to liquid to gas. So the term entropy means randomness or disorder. Clearly, a substance in the solid state is more organized than a substance in the liquid state, which is more organized than a substance in the gaseous state. The entropies for various substances may be found on a table of standard molar entropy. The units for standard molar entropy are joules divided by moles times degrees Kelvin. Consider the example of liquid water versus water in the vapor phase. Clearly, water in the liquid phase is less disordered and less random than water in the vapor state. The standard molar entropy for liquid water is 69.9, and the standard molar entropy for water in the vapor state is 188.8. Let's compare the standard molar entropy of an element versus the standard molar entropy of a compound containing that element. In this case, the metallic crystal of iron has a standard molar entropy of 27.3, whereas a, an ionic crystal of iron 3 chloride has a standard molar entropy of 142.3. Delta H or heat of reaction may be calculated by using this formula, where delta H is equal to the sum of the standard heats of formation of the products minus the sum of standard heats of formation of the reactant. These values may be found on a table of standard heats of formation. Suppose we're asked to calculate the delta H for the following reaction, where propane reacts with oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water. From a table of standard heats of formation, the heat of formation for propane would be a negative 103.85 kilojoules per mole. The heat of formation for any element will always be zero. The heat of formation for carbon dioxide gas is a negative 393.5 kilojoules per mole. And the heat of formation for water is a negative 285.8 kilojoules per mole. The heat of reaction may now be calculated as follows, where delta H is equal to three times the heat of formation of carbon dioxide plus four times the heat of formation of water minus one times the heat of formation of propane and plus five times the heat of formation of oxygen, which is zero. 
This gives delta H is equal to a negative 1180.5 kilojoules plus a negative 1143.2 kilojoules minus a negative 103.85 kilojoules plus zero. Adding these values up will result in a final calculation of negative 2323.7 kilojoules minus a minus 103.85 kilojoules giving a final answer of a negative 2219.85 kilojoules. Now let's find the concepts of enthalpy and entropy together in the Gibbs free energy equation. In general, if the delta H of a reaction is negative or exothermic and the entropy of a reaction is positive or if T delta S is positive, that reaction will always be spontaneous. If the delta H of a reaction is positive or endothermic and the T delta S or entropy of the reaction is also positive, then this reaction is spontaneous, but at a high temperature. If the delta H is negative or exothermic, and the T delta S or entropy is also negative, then this reaction will be spontaneous at low temperatures. If the delta H is positive, and the T delta S or entropy is negative, then that reaction will be non-spontaneous. The entropy or disorder of a system is dependent upon the temperature. As a substance goes from a solid to a liquid to a gas, its entropy is constantly increasing. Consider the following practice problem. Calculate the delta H, delta S, and delta G of the following reaction at 25 degrees Celsius, where sulfur dioxide reacts with oxygen to produce sulfur trioxide. The values for standard heat of formation and entropy may be taken from a table, where the heat of formation, or standard heat of formation, for sulfur dioxide is a negative 297 kilojoules per mole. The heat of formation for oxygen gas, which is an element, is zero kilojoules per mole. And the heat of formation of sulfur trioxide is a negative 396 kilojoules per mole. The units for entropy are given in joules per mole times K. The value for sulfur dioxide is 248. The value for oxygen gas, the element, is not zero in this case. The value for oxygen gas is actually 205. The value for sulfur trioxide is listed at 257. Now it is possible to calculate the delta H and delta S of the reaction. To calculate the delta H, we must take the sum of the heats of formation of the products and subtract from that the sum of the heats of formation of the reactants. In this case, 2 times a negative 396 which is the heat of formation of sulfur trioxide, minus 2 times a negative 297, which is the heat of formation of sulfur dioxide, plus 0, which represents the element oxygen. The answer will be 
a negative 198 kilojoules, which represents the delta H. The entropy may now be calculated in a similar fashion, where entropy is equal to the sum of the entropies of the products minus the sum of the entropies of the reactants. In this case, 2 times 257 minus 2 times 248 plus 205, which gives a final value of a negative 187 joules per degree Kelvin. The delta G may now easily be calculated by substituting the values for delta H and delta S and also making an adjustment in temperature where 25 degrees Celsius is now written as 298K. Minus 198 kilojoules minus 298K times minus 187 joules per K all divided by 1,000 or times 1 over 1,000 will yield a final answer of negative 142 kilojoules. In other words, the reaction between sulfur dioxide and oxygen to yield sulfur trioxide is indeed spontaneous.